Hey there fellow creators, Ben here from Cinderblock Studios, and it's time again for another product review. Today we're looking at Blue Ridge Oil Colors. Stick around. So aside from you guys probably already knowing that I'm an acrylic painter, uh, probably you're going to say, okay, well what's going to be so different about these Blue Ridge Oil Colors that I can't find in other brands? Blue Ridge Oil Colors are a small batch handmade paint made by one guy in Asheville, North Carolina, uh, sold directly on his website and shipped all over the world. This is high quality artist grade paint, but because it is very small batch in that way, it's not something you're going to find in a lot of big box retail stores or at all. So you might be wondering if it doesn't exist in any retail stores, how did I find out about it? Well, I actually watched a YouTube video a number of years ago, which I think was an upload of an even older video uh, that aired on some uh, local news station down in North Carolina and then it then came to YouTube via you know them uploading that there I saw it I'm like this is cool eventually when I get around to buying some oils maybe I'll pick some of this stuff up over the past couple of years I've been buying some tubes of oils I remember the Blue Ridge guy and I was like I want to try some of these so I did I picked a couple tubes up now it should be noted before we get to the main side of this review is that I only picked up three colors here because I already have a few in some other brands. I have a large tube of the raw umber, a smaller tube of the thalo blue, and a smaller tube of the Hansa yellow. So I'm basing all of this on just these three colors. So granted, uh, certain colors are going to have different properties with the uh, oil paint. So do keep that in mind as we're going forward here. Okay, so let's talk about the workability and experience of using these colors. The viscosity and consistency of the paint is very smooth and buttery. I would say bit more so than you might expect out of some other oil brands. The paints are very easily thinned with uh, oils and spirits without having to sacrifice paint quality or vibrancy in that way. Like any other oil paint, it mixes sort of interchangeably with any kind of other oil paint brands you have, so there's no really real worry or concern with that. And there's really a good option and range of colors, especially for a guy just doing all of this himself. But of course, with any product, you're going to have some pros and cons, so let's talk about them. On the good side of things, these are really reasonably priced oil paints with pretty fast shipping. I found the viscosity is really great, and they're super easy to work with, especially for oils, because you can kind of have a bit of a mixed bag there. Another interesting thing compared to other oil paint brands is their standard small tube is an additional 3 milliliters in size. These are 40s standard oil paint tubes that are small are only 37 milliliters. So you're getting a little bit extra paint for your money. On the downside though, because this is uh, online only and you're buying directly from the guy that makes it, you're talking about uh, limited availability, depending on what he has in stock, as well as the fact that these prices are fixed. You're not going to be able to get really a good discount or a sale to shop around because you're only getting them from one place. Now, in working with these paints, I only found one other con, and this, unfortunately, can be a bit of a big one and something of a deal breaker, I think, for some artists, is that there's actually no pigment information listed on these tubes. Everything's on the website, so you want to see, like, a, well, a sample of paint's a little bit on the tube there, but a b better understanding of the paint, tints versus um, mass tones, as well as the pigment information, all of that's on the website, none of that's on the tube, which I actually find to be surprising a little bit. There's also no information regarding uh, if the color is a transparent, opaque, or semi-transparent color. Normally on a tube of paint you see a little square, or it just tells you, and the square is black, white, or black and white diagonal shade, which tells you uh, the transparency of the color. None of that information on here, which I think might just be an oversight on the guy's part in, in making this stuff. Actually, another thing that's, this isn't really a con, I just found it kind of funny, is he uh, spells his thalo blue without the P, so it's T-H-A-L-O instead of P-H-T-A-L-O. Uh, I don't know if that's just trying to simplify the, the color name or, again, maybe just didn't think about it at the time, but I thought that that was a little strange. And it kind of annoys the hell out of me, to be honest. Now, a final note I wanted to do here is just to read out a little price comparison I did with looking at all of these colors and how they compare in prices to other brands. So the Blue Ridge oils uh, for the smaller tubes, now the larger tubes are a, a standard 5 ounce or 150 mil uh, tube. That's going to be standard with other oil paint brands. But the small ones, again, are an extra 3 milliliters. So uh, 40 milliliters versus the 37 you get in other brands. So a Blue Ridge tube is going to be anywhere from $8 to $24. Again, this range, if you've seen 
I've done videos before, seen me talk about it. Colors depend on pigments, uh, and pigment cost determines uh, a difference in how the uh, how much the paint's going to cost in terms of individual tubes. So small small tubes like this, eight to twenty-four. A, uh, a Williamsburg oil, super high quality stuff. This tends to also be super, super thick paint. Uh, they're going to be uh, nine, $9.79 to $45.84 dollars uh, per tube. Uh, we have, I've got a Gamblin. The Gamblins are $8.21 to $18.71. And these are standard like Blick retail prices for them uh, without sales, but just with a little bit of markdown. Um, Utrecht uh, oils, another uh, uh, favorite of mine. I think they're probably the most comparable to the Blue Ridge in terms of uh, viscosity and consistency. Uh, 647 to 1784 per tube. And uh, I also decided to toss in a Windsor and Newton price, even though I don't have any of those, but they're another comparable one. Uh, 755 to 2207 per tube. So that's just sort of a basic price breakdown for these. Um, Again, I, so when I say they're reasonably priced, yeah, they kind of fit in that sort of lower end price point to a lot of the artist grade acrylics. And that's what they are. So it's a really reasonable price for the product you're getting. So that's my look at the Blue Ridge oil colors made by one guy in North Carolina and shipping these all over the world at a reasonable price and a pretty good color selection for artists. I was kind of surprised by these. I mean, I know the guy's been doing it for like 10 years, but still, I was like, this is a really nice product for the money and if you're looking for something that maybe like you don't really want to get from a from a big box store like a, a Blick, a Hobby Lobby, an Artist Craftsman Supply, you want to support some local guys, some little guys, or just want to support some small US uh, paint makers, this guy's probably a uh, one to go for. Um, again, smooth buttery oil paint, uh, something like the Williamsburg comes out almost like clay, it's super super thick, so if you're looking for something that uh, has a smoother softer uh, viscosity, this stuff might be uh, a good choice for you guys. But again, I've only used these for a little bit, probably about a month off and on between some various projects. If you're used to using oil paints, I would be interested to see what you guys think about these. Uh, whether you try them or feel like trying them, let me know in comments below. So do I recommend you go and get some Blue Ridge oils for yourself? Well, I think it depends on what you're in the market for. If you're looking to try a new type of oil paint, absolutely, give these a try. If you're used to your particular oil paint and it works well for you, these would be a just thing to try on the side, but not necessarily something to replace your current set with. Uh, if you're just getting into oil paint and you want to find a brand that's uh, reasonably priced and uh, sh ships into you pretty quickly so you can get started, this also might be a good paint for you. But do I recommend them really? Well, yeah, I think I do, but uh, I'm not a super hefty oil painter. I use the projects, use them for projects here and there. So I may revisit it, revisit the product down the road to let you know whether uh, it's like super great or super terrible. I don't expect it to be super terrible because from what I've used, uh, they tend to be pretty good. Uh, so if you're looking for a, a new oil paint to check out, then this definitely gets my seal of approval. As always, if you learned anything in this video or just like hearing me rant, go ahead and hit that like button. It helps the video out as always. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Get subscribed if you're not already. Check me out in social links in the description box below. And there's a community discord down there. All kind of fun stuff to, to have a look around. Thanks guys for watching. Keep on creating and I will see you guys next time. That was a lot of stuff, man. A lot of stuff.